Hey guys, Steve Olin out in the shop at the workbench again today. Uh, just wanted to show you guys an anvil project I've been working on. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, um, you might be wondering who the heck I am, right? Nobody special, just an average guy. Uh, it's a little bit into social media and like sharing stuff. Very creative person. I've been creating stuff since I was a kid. Always loved drawing and painting and putting things together and taking things apart, building and whatnot. So I'm working on an anvil project right now. If you looked around my website, I mean my YouTube channel, you've seen that I uh, got a pretty good scattering of all kinds of videos. I just like to share what I'm working on or whatever I'm doing. Uh, online not too many people watch them but what the heck if you like it click the like subscribe if you're interested in the guy who just does all kinds of stuff to see if he can do it <laughs> I made this hat that I'm wearing it's a kind of a welder's cap I actually made the pants I'm wearing right now it's a Thai fisherman style pants I live in southern Louisiana so it's hot these pants are uh, much cooler than wearing jeans and don't bind up or anything like that so anyway I got a boat sitting on the other side of the shop an 18 foot boat that I made out of wood um, I got videos on backyard chickens and colloidal silver makers and DIY projects anyway I'm working on an anvil I've been looking around for anvils and uh, they're pretty expensive to buy a decent anvil especially a heavy one um, I've seen the railroad rail anvils um, anyway I went to an antique shop with my wife to look for an anvil that we saw listed on Craigslist and it was at this antique shop about an hour away so we drove over to take a look at it uh, not a very big anvil uh, it was 150 bucks um, you know probably weighed about 20 pounds anyway I've been thinking about making an anvil with some scrap steel that I have laying around so I started that project and just wanted to give you guys a look at it. I, blacksmithing is just something that I just got into recently. I got a couple of videos on <clears throat> some stuff I made. I've made a couple pair of basic tongs. I made a rake um, to use in my coal forge. And I probably made four or five blades uh, in the last couple months. Just learned how to use a MIG welder two or three days ago. <laughs> so I'm having a good time. I uh, just like to share it on YouTube. So. My anvil project is, like I said, out of some scrap steel that I've been working on. So I had this idea for an anvil. I had two of these railroad plates sitting around the shop here, and I decided, so to, I try decided and to try to make an anvil. I had this idea. I could cut one of these in half, use one as the base, put a piece of steel in between. I got a piece of two-inch uh, solid square steel that I've been using as a temporary anvil. You might have seen it in some of my other videos. I was going to cut a chunk of that. Put it in between and then put the other half on top and try to shape a horn on one end of it and make an anvil out of it now this stuff is um maybe not hard enough for an anvil top so i had ordered a little piece of steel that i can harden to put on top of it so there's the piece i cut off the other piece i've been working on to make the base and here's the piece i cut in half Cut off of it when I cut it in half and then I shaped it out on either end here and then welded uh, these two pieces of scrap steel on either side to make a wide base for the anvil so that's where so I'm I at. decided to use this for part of the anvil I'm trying to cut this out now I don't have a bandsaw or anything so everything I cut I cut with a angle grinder and it's, it makes a project out of everything but anyway I'm gonna cut about 12 and a half inches of this rail this base is being cut out to sit inside here and weld it on this will give you some weight and then I'm gonna flatten the rail out here at the top I'm gonna add a piece of steel on top of that I got a half piece of half inch of mild steel coming in that I'm gonna add on top of it um, and then I have uh, piece of steel for the very top of the anvil and I'll have to uh, try to figure out how to cut a hardy hole and a um, pritcher hole and uh, put it all together See how
making some good progress on this little piece of uh, rail. See, like my new apron. That denim apron I was wearing is one that I made as well. My wife ordered this one for me, just came in today. So maybe it'll keep me from burning myself. I got a hole in this shirt from the sparks from the grinder. <laughs> Check it out, we're making some good progress though. Still a little hot. some work there was a pretty big space in here that needed to be filled and uh, obviously I didn't I got it welded together okay I just didn't get it completely filled every time I try to go back over it seemed like it got worse it's a lot of pitting in the old railroad rail I think I'm just gonna leave that I think it looks kind of cool I do need to try to even this off it's rounded a lot on this edge I need to try and make it as flat as possible this piece is going to go on top of the railroad about overhang about an inch and a half on either end. I still need to cut it. But the horn will start about here. And then this piece that I can harden will be the top of the end little step right here going down to the horn Working on the hardy hole for this half inch layer that's going on top of the anvil. And I still have another 3 8 inch layer of the hardenable steel that's going on top that I have to cut. And uh, you know, so I'm drilling some holes and then I have to file it out square. I want to do all of that before I weld those two pieces on top of the anvil. So I'm getting these holes cut. I got my drill press in yesterday and it made life a lot easier getting some uh, holes drilled to create the hardy hole and the Pritchard hole. So I got these two plates I'm getting ready to weld together. And those two plates are going to be the top of the end but they're going to get welded on top of that piece of track. And, uh, we'll see how it comes out. I'm, I'm thinking the whole thing's going to weigh about 50 pounds. Uh, it would be nice to have a heavier one, but I think it's coming out okay for the first anvil project. look like when she's all put together obviously got some work to do on the horn um, get some stuff welded up and then uh, take the grinder to one inch notch going back about an inch and three eighths right here in the center to accommodate the uh, hardy tools so that's right where the hardy hole is on top of the other plates The 
samples all together. Still needs a little uh, touch up here, a couple of spots I'm going to fill with some weld and regrind. Uh, I'm kind of liking the old rusty pitted look at the bottom. I think I'm going to leave it that way. Um, anyway, there it is. I haven't weighed it yet. I think it weighs probably about 50 pounds. Um, you know, at some point, if I decide to, I might add a little steel to it in this section to make it a little bit heavier. But I think it's going to work fine for my first actual anvil for now. So there it is.